What's up everyone? Welcome to another honest review video. This one is Humidity Bison GT. Yeah, this is a mid-range smartphone. This is a rugged smartphone and for a few different reasons, I like this smartphone. Yeah, there are positives of this smartphone. Also, there are some negatives of this smartphone. I'm gonna share all those. But before everything, uh, this Humidity Bison GT, you don't need a protective case. Okay, this smartphone costs around 250 US dollars and yeah the SOC is from MediaTek it's Helio G95 if you have watched my other videos if you are a subscriber to this channel then you know that I like to do camera comparison videos and mostly these type of budget smartphones they don't offer good quality camera performance but this Umidigi Bison GT is a bit different. This one offers a very good camera performance for its price. So I'm gonna do a separate camera comparison video between this Umidigi Bison GT and another smartphone of your choice. Choose something within its price range. I mean within 300 or 400 US dollars. And let me know in the comment section below that which smartphone should I compare with Umidigi Bison GT. Well, this smartphone is IP68 and IP69K certified smartphone. So you can splash water, you can go swimming with this smartphone and it will survive. Storage is UFS 2.1 and the RAM is LPDDR4X. This one I have here is a 8 plus 128GB variant. I have never faced any issue in daily life usage. It's a very smooth and pretty snappy. Oh, if I forgot to mention the main sensor of this smartphone is from sony it's a 64 megapixel sensor what made me surprised is this one comes with a 16 megapixel ultra wide sensor most other smartphones even some budget flagship smartphones doesn't come with 16 megapixel ultra wide sensor there are like 8 megapixel sensors 13 megapixel sensors but this 16 megapixel ultra wide sensor is not only a number this one performs in real life there are two other sensors, one is for depth, another is for macro, both are 5 megapixel sensors. Those are marketing thing, not only on this UMIDG Bison GT, but on most of the smartphones. Depth sensor, macro sensor, those are there for marketing. Another thing is there is a dedicated button for underwater camera mode. Yeah, this one supports underwater camera. That is really a very unique feature to have in your smartphone. Okay, let's say a few words about the build quality. This is a rugged smartphone and build quality is premium. In hand, it uh, really feels good and it doesn't give me a feel that I'm holding a rugged smartphone. I don't know what they were thinking. I mean, this Umidigi design team, they have placed this uh, fingerprint sensor on the left. Usually it's on the right side. The fingerprint sensor and the SIM tray is on the left side. SIM tray is a compact SIM tray. It's a dual SIM compact SIM tray. You cannot expand your storage. Okay, this UMIDG Bison GT supports face unlock and it's a very fast, uh, but it's not that secured like iPhone. The volume rocker and power button is on the right side. There is also a dedicated button on the right side. On the left side, there is another dedicated button. There are protection on all four corners. Rear part of this smartphone is also very nice. It's a very lucrative. And as I have used this smartphone as my secondary drive, I didn't take enough care of this smartphone. There were times like when I have spilled coffee on this one. There were times like when I have misplaced it and it was dropped, but it survived everything. Uh, Umidigi Bison GT comes with a 6.67 inch FHD plus display. Yeah, full HD plus. That means it's 1080p and display quality is really amazing. I have no complaint about display panel, brightness, uh, adaptive brightness, nightlight, eye care, eye comfort, whatever you say. Everything is there and everything works fine. Time to talk about gaming performance. I know on UMIDG website they have written clearly Helio G95 gaming processor. Uh, yeah, Helio G95 is a very good processor and within this price range you cannot get anything better than this. Humidity actually did very good to extract the best out of this Helio G95. I like to play Call of Duty. I have tried to play Call of Duty on this smartphone and performance is great. You can go up to very high graphic settings. You can select a very high frame rate and it works fine. I didn't see any lag, any thermal throttling. But if you try to play more than one hour continuously on high 
graphics and high frame rate, yes, it gets a bit hot and there is some sort of thermal throttling. Mostly rugged smartphones get very hot very quickly. But this one doesn't get that hot because humidity have implemented liquid cooling. And yeah, it actually works. But if you push too much, if it's too long, then eventually you will see some sort of thermal throttling. Okay, if I haven't shown you what I've got inside the box, then there was this Humidity Bison GT, a booklet in different languages, USB-C to USB-C charging cable, and a 33 watt charger. I didn't expect to have a 33 watt charger included inside the box, that's for sure. Once again, considering the price and segment, if you need a rugged smartphone that can take amazing pictures, that can do gaming, then within this price range, I don't think you will get anything better than Humidity Bison GT. If you think there are other options, then let me know in the comment section below. I will get those smartphones and compare those with Humidity Bison GT to know whether I am wrong or not. Well, if you have liked this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. You know